Welcome to Flux TV. Mike Frizzano here again. Uh, today we're going to show you the disassembly and the assembly of the F560 series sanitary pump. So this pump right here, to take it apart, you use the spanner wrench that is given to you in the kit and one of the other three wrenches that we give you for disassembly. And you knock down on it, break the nut loose. Once the nut is loose, you unscrew it and you hold the outer tube. Pull it apart. Once that's out of the way, then you have the inside, the worm and the shaft and the mechanical seal is visible. So first thing you do is take out the mechanical seal and shaft. Take your 15 millimeter wrench. There's an open gap in the top just above the nut. Take a 20 millimeter wrench, put it on the flat parts of the shaft and loosen it up. Push it away from you to loosen it up. Once it's loose, you unscrew the shaft. Be careful because the shaft or the mechanical seal is spring loaded. So it will pop out if you let it. So just unscrew it. And once that's apart, then the spring will release. You can take your mechanical seal out with the spring. And you also have the centering washer. On the other end of the shaft, you have your worm and your shaft. This is also, you use your two wrenches and loosen it up and unscrew it. And this way, everything is all apart for inspection. And then you have also have your stator housing with normally a Teflon stator, which slides out for easy cleaning also. When you're ready to put this back together, you start out with, you put your stator into your stator housing. Make sure it locks into the two the two um, pieces that are protruding in there, everything lines up so it's all the way down in there. Unscrew screw this back on. That one, you move that away. So, like I said, make sure this is lined up. Once it's lined up, then you could tighten it all the way. The outer tube is ready to go. Then the next thing you do is put your seal washer into your piece, into your either your gearbox or the uh, bearing housing if it's a 560S. Next thing you do is put your spring in and there's a small alignment pin inside the seal washer. I always put it at 12 o'clock so you could see where it is because we'll show you the seal washer while we're, there is a pin in there and you put it in at 12 o'clock this way you'll know where it is because it's important for alignment of the mechanical seal because it also has a slot which must line up with that pin. You put your two faces together, you could hold it like a little steering wheel, and put it on top of the spring and press down. And you'll see if, you, if you're not lined up, it'll cock a little bit, but if you're lined up, it'll push all the way down. While you have it down there, remember it's spring loaded. So get your finger, your forefinger and your thumb and hold it down Get your drive shaft in your other hand, and while you're holding it down, screw the drive shaft in there. So it's important because if you let it up, it may not be lined up with the pin anymore, and the seal will be cocked, and you'll have leaks. 
So once you get it down and everything starts turning, you know it's down pretty, it should be very close to being totally together. Okay, and then you can put your, screw your rotor back on. Okay, once that's together, then you just repeat the process of lining up your wrench inside above the nut. And then you put your wrench on it and you tighten it towards you and tighten up your mechanical seal. And also tighten up your rotor. Once that's done, then you can just slide this all back in. Set it on the ground, push it back in, tighten up the nut. Once it's hand tight, get your spanner wrench Tighten it down onto the outer tube, and it's ready to go back into service. So thanks for watching today. I hope it was informative, and we'll see you next time.